Hi everyone, welcome to another short game session we're going to do for you. As we go into autumn and winter, the golf course, as you're aware, starts to play very differently from the conditions that we saw in the summer, and not least of which are how the bunkers are going to play. I get asked a lot by people um, as to whether there's a difference in technique for playing out of wet sand compared to playing out of dry sand as we experience in the summer, and there very definitely is. But before we get into those differences, I want to discuss with you in this first part of this video um, certain design aspects of the golf club and how they work for you and how they work against you. And one of the more misunderstood ideas in the design of a golf club is what we call the bounce angle, which is the angle on the sole of the club away from the leading edge, which will determine how the club behaves when it hits the ground or in our case, when it hits the sand. Now, if I just put this on a flat surface for you, we can see very clearly just what the bounce angle is and what it does very importantly to this leading edge of the golf club. Now, I've got a lob wedge here, which has got 60 degrees of loft on it and eight degrees of bounce. Now, a traditional sand iron will carry approximately 56 degrees of loft and its bounce angle will be in double figures, anything going up to 14 degrees of bounce angle. Now with this club, if I was to lean the club shaft back a little bit and therefore accentuate the bounce angle, you can see what that does to the leading edge. It brings it sharply off the ground and that means it's gonna be aligned part way up the golf ball. So if this club impacts hard ground with that back edge of the club hitting the ground first, the leading edge is brought up the golf ball, the end result is gonna be a thin shot. So in order to negate that, I can either push the club into a more forward position, getting the leading edge down on the ground. And with a lob wedge, that's, that's no great problem because I'm starting with 60 degrees of loft. Even if I take a couple of degrees of loft off it, I've got two more degrees than a standard sand iron. So this makes it an ideal bunker club at this sort of time of year. I've got a sharper leading edge, which is gonna be important when I'm playing out of wet sand, and I've still got plenty of loft on the club. Taking 14 degrees of bounce angle off a sand iron at 56 degrees of loft, I've suddenly had to lean the club all the way over here and I've now got a very strong golf club with not a lot, enough loft to get out of the bunker. So Lob Wedge becomes my ideal bunker club at this time of year. For me, it's my bunker club that I use all the time. And I can, if I'm playing at a very dry sand, I can accentuate the bounce angle by rotating the club into an open position, which produces more bounce. That bounce is very important to me when I'm playing from dry sand, because it'll stop the club from digging and burying into the sand. However, as we've just said, off wet sand, a hard surface, I don't want that club impacting behind the golf ball and bouncing up into it. I've thinned the shot. So if you carry a lob wedge, Try that in your practice, using it in a more square position, and we're gonna discuss that in greater detail in part two of this video when we get into a bunker, and we'll look at different scenarios, different lies. I'll see you in part two.